We go straight back to the Ashanti region and three public institutions have had their water supply disconnected because they owe the Ghana Water Company Limited a total amount of 7.3 million CDs. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST, is one of such institutions and the Daily Graphic is reporting that they owe about 6 million CDs. Let's go live to Kumasi, uh, specifically the KNUST, to find out if the water supply has been restored and how the you know the cutting of all the disconnection is affecting student life there. Our reporter Evan Sinkum has more on this. That Ghana Water Company Limited has. Oh, it's getting tough on some of the very institutions that are owing um, the company. Matter they've disconnected services to them. But we just want to know the reality on the ground as far as this particular um, hall is concerned. We'll be speaking to the students and then they will be telling us uh, the kind of um, problem that they are going through as far as. Uh, uh, Ability of water is concerned here. Let me, before we even get close to some of the tab, because they are they actually not slowing. Let me speak to a gentleman here. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. So we just want you to run as um, just tell us the kind of um, problems of that you are going through with uh, non availability of uh, water. Yeah, around the Easter period, we've not even received drops of to our showers and it's very, very appalling because we have for lectures and people go without even bathing. Now people from the eighth floor of the hall have to climb down to long distance in order to get just to bath. Just few cups of water just to pour on their body for them to feel good. So if students that are learning for the development of Ghana have to go through these processes then I think it's an indictment on our nation because we have to let our students feel good and if we don't bath how can we even go for lectures? All right, so it's a multi-dollar question, but um, I've spotted a couple of our politicians here. Um, it's serving at a reservoir, okay, but um, we do not know at the moment if water is flowing from this very poly tank. Well, somebody is trying to do a display for us. So obviously, the water, uh, the water is uh, not coming. It's just not coming. It's just not coming. And this is the kind of uh, frustration that they are going through. There's no water, but let's also um, see what is also happening here. This is a direct. Well, this is a direct tap, but it's also going. So, um, boss, uh, you, you, it is um, very fr fr frustrating. Is that the reason why you did not attend today? Um, I did actually go to lectures, but uh, I mean, people are going to lectures, at, so then. Staying in their room, sick of the pipes not coming. Yeah, right. and it's 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 even um, serious when it comes to the water that they will use to flush the toilet. Let me find out from. You. Um, so, how are you coping with the situation as far as uh, sanitation here is concerned? Talking about your toilet facility, you don't have. Water. Are you flushing? Um, actually, it is very. You know, uh, the taps not flowing for about four days. Very academic suicide. Well, you bath, keep on, keep the heat. This is a situation where the taps are not flowing, and if they're flowing, how do you expect me to get to class? Sometimes I have to go and buy a bag of pure that sachet to come and and bath, which is really very, very. It is bad. Alternative. Let me find out from the man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. So, your taps are going. What has been the alternative? We apologize for the break in transmission for that particular story. Uh, but at least the import of the story is quite clear that the shorter you the disconnection of water on campus at the KNUST is already taking a toll on the students. Uh, we stay in the Ashanti region and on the same issue. We are joined on the line by um, the rector of the Kumasi Polytechnic and the person of Nsoa Nyama, Professor Nsoa Nyama. Good afternoon, sir, and thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon. Uh, we are told that the 
K poly or Kumasi poly for that matter owes um, uh, an amount of 400,000 Ghana cities to the Ghana Water Company. Is that the case? And how come you've been able to accumulate such a debt? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, let me greet all your uh, listeners. Uh, that, that is true. And it is because I think for some time now, um, payment, payments have not been made. Uh, by the institution which is supposed to be making the payment on our behalf. And I think that is the reason why we we The institution entity is supposed to make payments on our behalf. And I think for some time now, uh, we have not been making it. NCC? Well, uh, NCC uh, National Council for Tertiary Education. They are the institution which pays uh, the utility bill for all tertiary institutions in Ghana. It's all tertiary institutions in Ghana, all the polytechnics, all the state, all the state universities, uh, all the state uh, training colleges of education, all the uh, all the uh, uh, nursing colleges, and so forth. Okay. They pay, and uh, I think. Um, uh, for some time now, I think we have not uh, paid. Uh, that's the reason why we, we, we how, are not the protection. I think that uh, when this thing comes, commercial protection which comes out. Because uh, three days ago, they had also disconnected 10 years. Right. And uh, commercial protection has also been disconnected. And it seems that it's we, we actually just played a report from, uh, uh, from KNUST and spoke to a number of the students about the impact of the disconnection. But yeah. how come, uh, have you been able to reach the NCTE about this and what have they told you is the problem for which reason they've not been able to settle this debt? No, it, it's all money matter. I, 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 I'm, I'll tell you that take all the tertiary, uh, state tertiary institutions in Ghana and they are supposed to pay all the bills. In, in millions, in millions of Ghanaian cities. So uh, it's not that if you have the intentional uh, you want to pay. It's all goes down to how is uh, the financing. How is the NCTE financed and how regularly have they paid over the period? How regularly I cannot say. But financing is... Um, uh, it, it, the, at the end of, at the beginning of uh, uh, budget, we all present our budget to them, and then they also present the budget to uh, finance as well, uh, Minister of Education, and Education submits the budget to finance. So that is how it, it was done. But you see, it's not uh, even in our daily life; it's not every budget uh, that you can have money to uh, uh, implement. Mm -hmm. that is, I think that's the main problem. It's because all social institutions, they pay for social institutions. Okay. We have to pay their, their bills. All right. So as it stands now, what are you as an institution doing and the leadership of K-Poly, what are you doing in the interim? No, but, but, but let me say that if you limit it to K-Poly, uh, it may not be a, a very appropriate. That, perhaps what, what we can say is, what are all the social institutions doing to be able to pay for that? Yeah, because these things, we cannot, uh, actually, we cannot isolate ourselves and do anything. Uh, what we, we are, I think, uh, Minister of Education met the student body, all the elders in the student body from all tertiary institutions in, in, the, in the country, that is, tertiary institutions in the country. And then told them that for the uh, previous bills, that will be taken care of. And then next year, uh, I think the, there will be a majority. All of us will contribute. I mean, the students will think of contributing something more. The government will continue to take up uh, some of the, uh, um, the cost of water and electricity. And then and then we will we, we, we move on. So for us as a tertiary institution, mm -hmm. um, it is the students who might have to contribute a little bit to toilet. But as of now, there is an arrangement that um, the 
debt will be taken care of, and then we should think of how to finance it from less academic years. That is what we know. Okay. Uh, we'd have to leave it here for now, Prof. Thank you very much for your time.